Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Will Turner, ladies and gentlemen, of course, welcome on back to a brand new LEGO Dimensions unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next of the fun packs for Legends of Chima. Of course, we've already done an unboxing for Eris, I believe, which was very cool and I was super duper impressed uh, by that minifigure and just by the entire design uh, of that minifigure, which is really cool. And today we're going to be taking a look at the second of the fun packs that I acquired from Legend of Chima and that is Cracker along with his Swamp Skimmer, which looks very, very cool. It's got this kind of crocodile-like motif going on, which is super duper neat, of course, to go along with Cracker the Crocodile. On top of that, we get a really nice shot of Cracker looking very, very dynamic right there as he is uh, ready to rule over the lands of Chima. And in addition to that, of course, this is a 45-piece set, which seems to be about the standard number at this point. I've noticed uh, that be the parts count for quite a few of the sets, especially the uh, Legends of Chima sets seem to kind of hover around that piece count. We get a nice uh, close-up shot of the exact same art as we see on the front there on this particular side. And then on the back here, we have a beautiful summary, of course, of all three forms of the Swamp Skimmer. So we have the Swamp Skimmer itself, then we have the Cragger's Fire ship which is quite interesting because you have a ship that's going to be firing fire so that's going to be a really cool visual and then last but certainly not least we have the croc command sub so submarine form for the swamp skimmer which is quite interesting indeed so all water vehicle but all different ones like you have a obviously a jet ski then you have a boat and then you have a submarine so very very cool that they actually kept them different now we'll see what they are like once we actually put them together speaking of which let's go ahead and flip this flap open of course, I've already pre-cut all of that. First of all, looks like we're greeted by some instructions. And then we have the first bag. Ooh, look at that. There's Cracker's helmet right there. That looks very cool. Or face, I guess, for that matter. And then the second bag. Ooh, okay, interesting. So there's uh, Cracker's base. Kind of a little bit too similar, in my opinion, to the uh, Eris one. I wish it wasn't the fire element. I know that that's supposed to be the chi and such, but I kind of wish it would have been maybe like something more like swamp-like to kind of go with the motif of a crocodile. I think that would have looked cool. Or maybe like some uh, like crocodile teeth chomping on like each side. I think that would have just looked a little bit more cool. But again, we'll see once we actually get it out of packaging. Now, as I mentioned before, when I just opened this up, we do get a nice instruction booklet, which as always gives us a nice summary. Whoa, look at that. Pretty complex design for Cragger. Looking very cool. I love that sword. Look at that. That looks really cool with that flaming blade. And then additionally to that, it tells you, hey, if you want to continue building stuff, well, you can use the in-game instructions or, of course, the official website, which I've done a video showing how to do all that stuff. So if you need help with that, you can check it out. Additionally to that, it gives you a nice summary of all the fun packs that we know about, all the level packs that we know about, as well as all the team packs that we know about. I've done unboxings for quite a few of those, so check them out if you're interested. And, of course, at the very back of the instruction booklet, you get a nice piece or I guess uh, actual parts count and summary which is super duper cool just to double check and make sure that you have all the parts like if something is missing you could go back to this and be like oh it's not missing I just messed maybe some sort of assembly or something like that which has happened to me before so nonetheless ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and put these two lovely lovely bags together and hopefully we will end up with something that looks relatively similar to that <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to uh, pull that off, shouldn't be too difficult, and we will take a look at the goodies inside. Alrighty guys, so here is the Swamp Skimmer and Cragger himself, fully assembled. Let's take a look at Cragger first, and my googly moogly is this figure pretty intimidating. Huh? Look at that face, that's a face only a mother can love, that's for sure. Look at that, that is terrifying. He's got a, a huge grin with lots and lots of teeth, one of his eyes is messed up. He does have two different expressions, one with an open grin or an open mouth, and then one with a closed mouth, so that's kind of cool. His helmet is absolutely awesome, or of course his face really because I know that this is all part of his face but speaking in terms of as a Lego minifigure it's obviously kind of his helmet so that's pretty cool he obviously has the little Chi logo in the center whereas the Chi armor that we saw in Eris I really love all the incredible paint work and details on these figures there, there's a lot of cool like shiny details on the actual figures I love the painted nails and everything that's cool additional details and then of course that amazing amazing flaming sword right there which is super duper cool and it's just two different parts coming together you have just this little flaming bit which I've never 
actually seen before in any other set, so I don't know if it comes in any other sets. Let me know if you've ever seen that before, and you just uh, slide it on in, and there you go. That's pretty cool for sure. The base itself, very, very similar to the one that Eris came, uh, came with, which is a bit unfortunate. I mean, I kind of get it because they're trying to keep them all in one theme, so it sort of makes sense, but I wish that it would have instead been maybe like some sort of swamp or maybe like an alligator bite, as I said in the unboxing part. I just think it would have been really cool if it was a little bit more differentiated per character so that it stands out more because I think you could get confused over time when you look at one you're like okay wait which Ninjago or which uh, Chima character is that you know it could become somewhat confusing um, but that being said something that isn't confusing at all is the swamp skimmer which is really really cool looking and the very neat thing about it is that it can be used as an actual vehicle for your character sorry I forgot that he can't sit there because uh, he would be hitting the steering wheel but he can stand on it which is really cool so you can actually display your figure on the Swamp Skimmer. It doesn't have any wheels or anything like that at the bottom, so it's uh, not gonna be able to roll. I mean, you could obviously glide it along passageways and such, but it's not going to be rolling anywhere. I do like the little, uh, the, the way that they use binocular pieces for this set is amazing. Like, they've been used in so many different manners, and I really do appreciate that creativity. We have some extra flaming effects to obviously sim simulate uh, the effect of how quickly this thing moves, and a whole bunch of chomping teeth for some action. So, with that in mind, ladies and gents, wait a minute, uh, Cracker, step on out, sir. We're not done yet, because there are two additional forms to look at on the Swamp Skimmer. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the Cracker Fire Ship. Alrighty, guys, so here is the Fire Ship, and uh, it certainly does have a lot of fire components to it. Obviously, it looks to have some sort of blazing or fire effect up here, as well as on the side, so it's really ready to fire away at its targets. It's kind of interesting how it has this little uh, a mechanism that was used before for handles to almost act as a maybe like a crash barrier or something that would guard it from like bumping into other items and such. So that's kind of a cool little uh, interesting component of the actual ship. Um, I do like the way that the teeth are peeking out on the sides, but as a whole, I don't know. I I, it kind of looked a little bit cooler on the actual uh, picture. Maybe it was due to this angle. It kind of looked neater or something. But I don't particularly care for the way that the, like this engine block kind of pops up here. I almost wish that this piece would have been like back here. I think that would have looked a little bit better and slimmer and kind of would have come together a little bit nicer, honestly. And I almost feel like it would have been then better to have this component still stay up here because then it would kind of look more as an actual uh, boat and have some sort of an operational component. But again, you do have to keep in mind that that would then probably make it look a little bit too similar to the first uh, vehicle that we looked at, which was the Swamp Skimmer. But we still have one more vehicle, or one more form, I should say, for this vehicle to look at, and that is, of course, the submarine form, and that one looks very, very different and quite cool. So let's take a look. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Cragger! Flaming sword pants. Yeah, that was not working out very well. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, here is the submarine for, or more importantly, for? No, form is what I meant to say, but more importantly, the Croc Command Sub is its full name. Once again, I have to say, I really love the way that they use the binocular pieces. Like, they're used in so many different ways to do kind of like engines, and in this case, they're actually used like actual telescopes that you would have, well, not telescopes. Uh, I wonder, what are those called? Specifically, I don't know what they're called actually in English, uh, but like the actual like scopes that you would use to look, you know, underwater where you would look ahead, or if you're just hovering just a little bit under the surface of the water, you could use this to peek out and such. Even like they, they, they would do in cartoons or like Pokemon, the Ro Team Rocket would do that. So that's a cool detail there. I think this is a very, very cool look. Still maintains a lot of the cool kind of fundamentals from the previous two designs in terms of having the ragged teeth on the sides and such, which is very neat. The only component I'm not too certain about just like with spongebob as i was pointing to before how is there going to be fire underwater i'm not sure if that's going to work out too much but it's there so that's kind of an interesting component for sure so nonetheless ladies and gents there you have it that is the unboxing for cragger now of course this means that he will now join us in lego brick adventures which is going to be awesome because we needed a strong underwater character so this is going to be very 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 helpful for sure and with that in mind if you guys enjoyed today's unboxing please don't forget to leave a like that'd be super duper cool i'll catch you lovely folks next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.